animals and for our keeper team. You can also see that we're able to have our animals participate in sitting still or stationing and being comfortable being touched so that we can check for bumps or bumps that might not be supposed to be there. Speaking of not supposed to be there, I'm going to move myself over here and explain what just happened here. Because there's another part to our training that's changed. So why we train has changed. We train for our animals' health care, and we also train to encourage natural behaviors. Now in the wild, things like hula hoops or rubber duckies aren't something these animals would encounter in the wild. They would be facing all sorts of different challenges, things like sharks and killer whales that they have to avoid, or finding and catching their food, which here at Como, shark-free, great news, and their food is delivered, it's catered every day. But we still want them challenging their minds and their bodies, and training is a great way to do that. But another aspect to our training is how we train. We train using something called operant conditioning with positive reinforcement. Ooh, hold on, sorry. Okay, that was a big word. I'm glad I got through the stairs first. So all that means is when the zookeepers ask for a behavior and the animals give that behavior, they're told they did it right, and then they get a reinforcement or a reward, making it more likely for them to do that the next time they're asked. Um, you might have used this training method yourself at some point in your life. All right, perhaps you asked a child to clean their room. Any, any children 